Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. This is gonna be a little bit of a quick video. Um, I just wanted to kind of put this out there so I could have something to show people. I've been getting a lot of questions recently about the LED eyes that I use for um, this cosplay suit. And it seems to be probably the most asked question. How do you? How did you make the eyes? Can you see through them? Uh, what do they look like? Where can I get them? So I just wanted to show you a little bit more in-depth video on what they are, how I got them to fit, and what I've been using them for. They can be had pretty cheap on eBay, so uh, I'll post a little bit of a link and I'll probably you know throw a picture on the screen right now to kind of show you what they look like. Uh, the seller changes all the time, but basically what you're going to want to search is cosplay LED eyes, Batman LED eyes. Uh, I think Batman LED gives you the, the most fruitful like result. But so to answer some questions real quick, this is what they look like out of the package, and. Uh, it, it's not too fancy. It comes with a little battery pack right here that houses two uh, AAA batteries. These each put out 1.5 volts, meaning this whole pack puts out about 3 volts. And they're going to be wired like this. So they're going to come covered and they'll be wired up about this length. You can cut these apart. I, th that's fine. This is just a simple DC circuit. So you can cut these off, extend the wires however you want. If you wire them up and they don't work, flip the wires. You probably have them backwards. So right off the bat, they're going to come with these neat little uh, white kind of screens on them. And what I like to do is I like to take a little X-Acto knife and cut right there to kind of leave the cover over here. So what these are, are clear acrylic lenses. And if you feel, one side's really smooth. This is the real smooth side. And you can see all those dots, right? And you can see the reflection showing from the rest of the room. But now if I flip it over... I can actually feel a little bit of a rough surface here and it doesn't have as much of a uh, reflectivity right there. So what's happening is there's a little LED right in there and if I turn it on, you can see it on. There's a little LED and it goes through the acrylic and then around the entire perimeter of the acrylic is a chrome silver uh, piece of tape. And what that's doing is that's reflecting all the light in there. And these white dots on the back, this rough side, what that's trying to do is direct the light out one direction. So you can actually see, if I put this up to the camera, you can see through this. And this is about the visibility you'll get in a well-lit room. Now, if I flip it over, it gets a little bit brighter because now all these white dots are trying to reflect out. So when you put these in the mask, what you want to do is you want to pay attention to which way you form them and fit them. So this, the smooth white dots, you want them closer to your eye so the light is trying to reflect out that way. So these, these are just super handy pre-wired LEDs. And since they're acrylic, what uh, you can do with them is with just a little bit of heat, let's see, we'll turn this off. With a little bit of heat, you can actually bend them. And I used a heat gun. You can probably use a hair dryer. Um, don't use a lighter or like direct like flame heat because what'll happen is you'll, uh, you'll end up making them too brittle or burning them or melting them or breaking them like I did. But you can actually get them pretty soft by doing this. Go slow if they still don't flex and bend. Try again, keep going, keep going. And you'll be able to actually get them hot enough to where you can push and bend and shape and mold them. So I was able to get them to contour to this mask pretty well. And I actually think I, I burned just a little bit. It's either a burn or super glue, but you really, you can't tell through the, the mask. And as you can see, I have no wires actually going to this mask. So what I was able to do is, uh, and that's, it's, this is, I'll be more in depth on this in another video, but I used magnetic contacts. So this magnetic contact is a positive, this magnetic contact is a negative, and then inside this helmet, there's a positive and a negative, and then I just ran it, ran a wire to the battery pack. So you can extend this however much you want. And you don't even need to use this battery pack. Um, I can actually, you can actually use a, a USB LED kind of, or a USB pack power, and that'll get the point across just as nicely. So now when the mask goes back in, it clips in. The contact isn't the best, so the eyes flicker, but it actually kind of gives it a little bit of a cool effect, I think, if you kind of shake the mask and they flicker. So yes, I can see through these. They're super, just, they are so invaluable. Uh, I think they're only like six or seven bucks. Um, so get them if you're trying to do some cosplay. And what's nice is they still look good, even if they're off. You can't really see through them. Like obviously there's light on the other side, but your eye would be behind this. This would all be dark and you really can't, see, you wouldn't be able to see an eyeball through it. So they still look like nice lenses. They have a really cool texture to them. And then when you turn them on, depending on how you want to wire up your switches, you know, you can flick them on and off. Um, for my suit, I'm going to have um, 
a little finger touch control that's gonna turn them on and off, on and off whenever I want. And then they're also with the motorized mask, not this one obviously, um, when they open and close and open and close, the eyes will come on and off. So you can take these apart and wire them up however you want. You can even make these yourself if you really wanted to get crafty. Uh, all you'd have to do is get a clear piece of acrylic and drill a little bit of a hole on the side, stick the LED, and throw some like chrome or aluminum foil tape um, around them. You can really make these however you want. Obviously, there are some cosplay out there that don't... Um, their eyes are way too big for just a small lens like this. Uh, so I, I, I can't really think of any off the top of my head, but I'm sure there are. These fit absolutely perfect for like an Iron Man sized eye opening. Um, but if you needed to get creative, what you could do is buy these packs or just go get yourself some simple LEDs and you can make your own eyes with just some clear acrylic. It's a very, very simple design. Um, don't pump more than five volts to these. I made the mistake on one of my helmets of pumping nine volts to it and the LEDs burned out within a few seconds. These are very, very low voltage LEDs. They barely have any resistance on them. So uh, definitely don't pump like 12 volt to them or don't push nine volt. Um, you can, little cheap USB battery packs can be had this is what I'm gonna be using to power the LED eyes. And on the bottom, you can actually see that it puts out five volt, two amp. The amperage might be a little bit high. Uh, one amp probably would be a little bit more preferred, but you know, test them out. Don't put more than five volts to these or you'll burn them out. And then you're gonna to have to figure out a way to swap out that LED. And uh, that's not fun, especially if you've already, like I have, form fitted and glued the eyes in, then replacing them is much more of a pain than just, you know, buy a new set because now I'd have to break this out get the LED out somehow and uh, that's just a lot of um, a lot of risk so those are the eyes if you're in a dark room these aren't really gonna work too well because what's gonna happen is it's like it's like putting a flashlight right next to your eye and trying to look into a dark room obviously all the light is gonna be closer to your face so it's just gonna wash you out and reflect back at you. But if you're in a nice well-lit room, you're outside, you're at a big convention, it's enough to walk around and not bump into things. Like I can still see, I can still see my hand, I can still make things out, but I wouldn't try to run a marathon in them or try to navigate through like a, a china shop or something, you know? Turn the lights off, but you know, you wanna go for that picture, you flick them on real quick, you can see, you know what you're looking at, you can tell, hey, there's the camera guy, take the picture. So these are very simple, very cheap, well worth it. And I just wanted to put this video out there to kind of explain better what they are and how I'm using them. So I hope this answered anybody's questions. If you guys have any other more, any other questions about anything else I'm doing, I'm going to start trying to make a couple more tutorials showing some of the techniques and stuff I use for the mask, the magnetic contacts, um, just a multitude of different stuff. I got asked questions about, I wanted this to be the first one though, because I get it. I get asked it absolutely the most. So, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching and have a good day.